Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. All right, welcome back to class number 60, intermediate students. The intermediate portion of the show begins right now with a little review of what we were talking about yesterday. Because yesterday I got so excited I almost lost my voice. I almost lost my voice. Every week I almost lose my voice. When I get so excited about something on the radio, I get so excited that I almost lose my voice. Yesterday I almost lost my voice. But I didn't. But we have this verb to talk about. That's what I get excited about, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, I get excited about verbs. That's right. And uh, the verb to lose is no exception. Perder, to lose. And in the past, lost. Lost, just like the television show, Perdidos, lost. Because they're lost on an island. They got lost, and now they're lost. Their plane crashed, and they don't know where they are. Because they're lost, right? So, did you lose a hundred euros yesterday? Yes, I lost a hundred euros yesterday. Terrible, I lost it. So, perder. In the, the same sense as Spanish, we can have to lose, um, como en el sentido de no encontrar algo. I lost my keys. Where are they? I can't find them anywhere. I lost them. I lost my keys yesterday. And then perder in the sense of no ganar, to lose the match, to lose a football match, to lose uh, a game as well, right? A game or a match. Game is more American in terms of football and professional sports, whereas match is more British English. A football match or a football game. An American would say a football game, yes. I often lose pens. I only buy cheap pens because I know that I will lose my pens uh, regularly. So it, I would never buy one of those fancy Mont Blanc pens that cost several hundred dollars because I know that I'm just going to lose it. Yesterday, I lost a pen. Last week, I lost two pens. I'm terrible for losing pens. So what I do now is I leave pens everywhere. I have pens in my bedroom at home, in the desk that I work on in my house. I have pens in the radio studio. I leave them here for myself to use. And I, have, I keep a pen in my pocket, uh, of, in my coat pocket, and another pen in the office where I teach classes in the mornings. So this way... If I lose one, well, chances are, the chances are, there's a great possibility that, you see, the chances are that I will just be able to find another one. So it doesn't really matter if I lose them. As long as they're cheap and plentiful, then I just put pens everywhere. And then if I lose a pen, it's not a big problem because there's probably another one there. That's my system of pens. So do you lose pens when you're at work? Do you lose pens? Because I do. I, I lose them all the time. Another thing I lost was my phone. A few weeks ago, I lost my phone. Terrible story. I, I lost my phone and it was a disaster. I, but I found it. I lost it and I thought I was never going to find it. But I did. I found it. So I didn't lose all the contacts and the numbers, right? I was able to recover it. Okay. In Spanish, the verb perder can be to lose in the sense of no encontrar or to lose a football match or a sporting event, for example, or a game or a contest. But, but um, perder el autobús, we do not lose the bus. No, we miss the bus, to miss the bus. The bus goes by and we miss the bus. We, miss an, we can miss an opportunity. I missed the opportunity. I had a great opportunity, but I missed the opportunity. It was terrible. I missed the opportunity. Okay? 
Translation. Yeah, it's time for some translation. Now we're looking at translation list number eight. All right. This is a little review. We saw this in the last class, but it was getting good. It's starting to get interesting now, isn't it? The translation. A lot of fun. But make sure you translate these at home out loud. En voz alta. You have to participate. Okay? You might even want to write down the answer quickly. I will give you time to write down the answer as long as you write quickly. But if you're driving... It's not worth it. Don't jeopardize your safety. If you're driving right now, just repeat out loud. Don't worry about what the other drivers think. It doesn't matter. You're learning English. It's more important than what they think. But don't write it down because it's too risky. I don't want to be responsible for anyone having an accident, okay? Number one. Haz lo que digo, no lo que hago. Do what I say. Not what I do. Do what I say, not what I do. Number two. ¿Cuándo vas a enseñármelo? When are you going to show it to me? When are you going to show it to me? Very good. Number three. ¿Por qué me quejas tanto? Why do you complain so much? Why do you complain so much? Number four. ¿Qué estás buscando? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? And number five. Tenemos que causar una buena impresión. We have to make a good impression. No te pongas nervioso. Number six. No te pongas nervioso. Don't get nervous. Was my music making you nervous? I was singing between, um, between sentences. Was it making you nervous? Don't get nervous. No te pongas nervioso. Don't get nervous. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Now, not nervous, but nervous. 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 Don't get nervous. Okay? If you drink too much coffee... You get restless. It makes you move around. Maybe you get hyperactive or you get restless. But we don't say coffee makes you nervous. In English, being nervous is when you're, you're ner nervous because you're worried about something. I'm nervous about the exam tomorrow. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't get nervous. But coffee doesn't make you nervous. Okay? Maybe it makes you hyperactive. Or maybe it makes you... Fidget, which is mean moving kind of uncontrollably. You're moving, you're moving your arms and legs because you have a lot of energy, but you're being forced to sit still, but you don't want to sit still. So you fidget. You move around. You're moving your legs up and down. You're moving around in your seat. You're fidgeting, right? You're nervous. Well, you're, well, you're, you're hyperactive maybe, but not nervous in that sense. Nervous involves being worried about something, okay? Number seven. Lees demasiados, disculpa, lees demasiadas novelas detectives. You read too many detective novels. You read too many detective novels. Number eight. ¿Por qué te enfadaste tanto? Why did you get so angry? Why did you get so angry? And number nine, la mayoría de la gente lo come de noche. Most people eat it at night. Yes, most people eat it at night. Number ten, diviértate. Have a good time. Go out. Have a good time. Don't worry about it. Have a good time. Are you having a good time right now? 
I hope so. Have a good time. Number 11. No me digas lo que tengo que hacer. Don't tell me what I have to do. Don't tell me what I have to do. Hey, don't tell me what I have to do. Number 12. ¿Qué haces cuando eso ocurre? What do you do when that happens? What do you do when that happens? Very good. I hope you got all 12 right. I hope you went 12 for 12 there. Let's move on. Word of the day. Yes, it is time for our word of the day. The word of the day today is... In English, well, in Espanol, se dice, se dice cobijo, shelter, 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 like the Rolling Stones. Dame cobijo, give, give me shelter, shelter, yes, shelter. So, sh we have to make this sound like, be quiet, shh. Shelter. Shelter. Yes. All right. So, uh, will there be a lot of people in your house tomorrow? Give me an affirmative answer. Yes, there will be a lot of people in my house tomorrow. There will be a lot of people in my house tomorrow. The question, will there be? Yes, there will be. The question, will there be? So notice how the word order changes. Yes, there will be. Okay. Habrá mucha gente en el supermercado mañana? Will there be a lot of people in the supermarket tomorrow? Yes, there will be a, a lot of people in the supermarket tomorrow. There will be. Okay. There is the subject. Not it will be. No, 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 no. I get a headache when I hear that. If someone says it will be a lot of people. No, no, no. There will be. Habrá. When we use the verb haber in this sense, it is there as the subject. There will be a lot of people in the supermarket tomorrow. The, yes, there will be a party in my house next, next Wednesday, for example. Okay? Will there be a party next week? Give me an affirmative answer. Yes, there will be a party next week. Will there be a lot of people on the beach in the summer? Yes, there will be a lot of people on the beach in the summer. Will there be a lot of traffic on Friday afternoon? Yes, there will be a lot of traffic on Friday afternoon. Will there be a party on Christmas Eve? Yes, there will be a party on Christmas Eve. Will there be a lot of people in your house next week? Yes, there will be a lot of people in my house next week. Will there be an important meeting in the office next week? Yes, there will be an important meeting in the office next week. Yes, there will be. Will there be? An important meeting? Yes, there will be an important meeting in the office next week. There will be an important meeting with all the managers and all the directors and all the office staff. There will be a very important meeting next week. There will be. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. All right, now it's time for our vocabulary of the day. The first word today is económicas. Y en inglés digamos economics. 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 Últimamente. Lately. Lately. And we use this, we always use this with the present perfect tense, which we will talk about in the future. Not today, but we'll talk about it soon in class. The present perfect. Principal. Main. 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 Bastantes. Quite a few. Quite a few. Quite a few, yes. 
there are quite a few British people in Vaughan Systems. There are also quite a few Americans. Mm -hmm. Molesto. Bothersome. Bothersome. Molesto. Bothersome. I find the heat in the summer very bothersome. It bothers me. The heat in Madrid in the summer bothers me. I find it bothersome. Yes, it's true. Now let's practice again. Will there be? But now in the negative. Negative answer. So will there be a holiday tomorrow? No, there won't be a holiday tomorrow. Will there be a party in your office tomorrow? No, there won't be a party in my office tomorrow. Will there be a lot of phone calls tonight? No, there won't be a lot of phone calls tonight. Not tonight. Will there be a rock concert in the stadium tonight? No, there won't be a rock concert in the stadium tonight. Will there be a general election tomorrow? No. There won't be a general election tomorrow. Will there be a circus performing in your house tomorrow? No. There won't be a circus performing in my house tomorrow. Will there be? Will there be? No, there won't be. Or yes, there will be. Yes, there will be. Or no, there won't be. Will there? Will there? Will there be? Will there be a big snowstorm in Madrid tomorrow? No. I expect not. No, there won't be a big snowstorm in Madrid tomorrow. Okay. We're out of time. We have run out of time, so I'm going to finish there, but I will go to the break now. I'll be back in a few minutes with the advanced portion of the class. But I will also be back with more for you beginner students tomorrow at the same time. If you have any questions, feel free to write in bauganingles.com through your account and we will answer your questions. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.